You know, smallmouth bass are one of my favorite fish to catch. I've caught them all over North America. Besides the upper Midwest and Canada, we're talking Vermont, down to Tennessee, Alabama, over to Texas, Arizona, California, even up into Oregon and Washington. One lure, the tube, has consistently worked for smallmouth wherever I fish for them. And the reason why is it closely mimics some of their main forage, crayfish, gobies, and sculpins. I generally fish for them in two ways, the standard internally weighted tube, which is most popular, and also on a mushroom head half moon style with an exposed hook. The mushroom head rigging is a little bit different action than the internal weighted tube and at times will be absolutely a better option. Gluing the tube to the mushroom head can also help catch more fish and make the tube last longer. The correct weight depends on the depth of water you are fishing. I carry them in weights from 1 16th of an ounce all the way up to half an ounce to fish in depths from two foot to as deep as 30 feet and more. Probably the most important thing when fishing the tube is presenting it effectively to the fish. And what that means is that it's close to or on the bottom pretty much the entire time. Retrieving the bait is pretty simple. I have three general retrieves bottom hopping, slow dragging, and a slow drag with a rip. A lot of tackle manufacturers make tubes. I carry them in sizes from two inch, three inch, and four inch. Three and four inch are the standard size, and the two inch tube can be effective on highly pressured or inactive fish. Tubes come in a lot of different colors. My favorites are natural tones of greens and browns. A basic setup is a spinning rod with braid and a fluorocarbon leader. They can also be fished on a bait caster. Oh, like that. There we go. No matter where you fish, tubes catch smallmouth. <laughs>